Welcome to Ring Theory. Mithril was one of the most exquisite and sought-after metals in Middle-earth. Unlike in the TV show, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, it did not have healing qualities in nature, but was instead known for its contradiction of immense strength with lightness of weight. In this video, I'll be looking at a brief history of it in Middle-earth, where it was found, and how it was used. There are suggestions it was found on Numenor, as there were heirlooms passed down that were made of Mithril, and there are also hints it was found on Amman, the blessed realm and continent that contained Valinor. Upon the tragic demise of Numenor in the Second Age, and the removal of access to Amman, the only other place it was known to be found was the great dwarven stronghold of khazad this made the dwarves that settled there grow increasingly wealthy over the Second and Third Ages. To show how sought after it was, some of the Noldor, one of the oldest clan of elves who were known for their expertise in law and crafting, decided to settle in Eregion as it was nearest the west gate of Moria. Among them, the great elven smith Celebrimbor, who ruled Eregion in the Second Age. This was the start of a positive relationship between Elves and Dwarves, the Elves of Eregion and the Dwarves of khazad -dûm. Through trade, the Elves were able to create objects of Mithril, the most notable being the Elven Ring of Naya, of the three Elven Rings crafted by Celebrimbor, gifted to Círdan, who then gifted that ring, later on, to Gandalf. If you've seen Amazon's Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, you will see that they've given an origin story to Mithril, explaining that it was created by accident after a fight with a great elven warrior and a balrog. Although this battle did look epic on screen, it isn't based on anything from Tolkien's writings. The depiction of Mithril's physical characteristics is also far different from that in the text. In the show, it's shown to have healing qualities and to glow with an inner light. This is purely an invention from the show. It has no such healing qualities and is known for its reflection of light. For example, the scene where we see the dwarves looking at a hidden, shining object in a chest. This wouldn't be possible using only the book lore as it doesn't create its own light. An example of it reflecting light is when Gandalf shines his staff's light down the mines of Moria in the Fellowship of the Ring. Going away from the show and back to what Tolkien wrote, the Noldor of Eregion, using their expertise, made an alloy out of the Mithril called Ithildin. The interesting quality of this alloy was that it was only visible by starlight or moonlight. It was then used by Celebrimbor for the runes and writings on the doors of Durin, the west gate of Moria later seen by the Fellowship in the Third Age. However, Earlier in the Third Age, the Dwarves famously delved too greedily and too deep, and awoke a Balrog deep within the mines. Before the Balrog, Mithril was worth ten times its weight in gold. After the Balrog, and the Dwarves were driven out of khazad Mithril became priceless. Quite suddenly, the only recognised source of Mithril in Middle-earth had been completely stopped. Therefore, the only way to come into possession of it was through already forged weapons and constructed armour. The orcs remaining didn't dare mine for more, as they were equally as afraid of the Balrog as anyone in Middle-earth. They did, though, gather any already mined Mithril and give it in tribute to Sauron. In the books, it's mentioned in passing that Sauron coveted Mithril, but never explained what he wanted it for, or if he ever actually used it. If you have any thoughts on what he may have used this for, please let me know in the comments. The most well-known mithril object seen in the main story was undoubtedly Bilbo's small mithril shirt. This was retrieved from the treasure Smaug was guarding in The Hobbit, and gifted to him by Thorin Oakenshield. Interestingly, dwarves would usually be far stockier than hobbits, so this may have been made for dwarf children, maybe of royal lineage. This shirt, Bilbo then passes on to Frodo, a decision which proves incredibly important, with Frodo being stabbed by a troll in Moria and only surviving due to that priceless Mithril shirt. There are very few mentions of Mithril and Mithril objects in the main Lord of the Rings story. 
Obviously, we have Bilbo slash Frodo shirt, Naya, one of the Elven Rings of Power. Other than that, we also have the Guards of the Citadel in Minas Tirith, who are described as wearing helmets made of Mithril. Aragorn, or King Elisar, as he's known after being crowned king, also finds the Elendilmere while searching Saruman's former tower of Orthanc. The Elendilmere was a great gemstone mounted on a silver chain of Mithril, first presented to Elendil, Aragorn's ancestor. Lastly, after Gimli is named Lord of the Glittering Caves, which is the cave system behind the wall of Helm's Deep, he comes to Gondor and helps to replace the broken gate of Minas Tirith with Great Gates of Mithril. Please let me know of any other examples in the comments of Mithril in the main story and what you think Sauron was collecting that Mithril for. Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel, I'll be focusing on anything and everything to do with The Lord of the Rings. Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy, and the new TV show. If you liked the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button below.